Hey everybody, just want to give a quick update. Um, I've been up like since midnight <laughs> and since I couldn't sleep I decided I'd start working on my ideas for um, my business logo which is going to eventually come up, become my picture on YouTube the way that uh, Jen did uh, for her site, Bell's Reborns, and for uh, Lori's Crochet Corner. So I've been working on mine, and this is sort of what I come up with. Now this is just first try at it. I've got to redo it again so that I can do the lettering properly, because I was about half awake when I did this. But... What do you think? Patricia Norwood's Hobbies and Reborns in initials on a artist palette with a uh, paintbrush and a crochet hook because I use all of these things in making my Reborns. And you know I, I crochet outfits for my Reborns and blankets and what have you and I do the painting and of course I do my do my artwork which is another one of my hobbies that I want to take into becoming a business. So, this is my first attempt at making this um, actual lo logo, but I need to do, um, and I know it looks backwards, um, I need to do, do the lettering better. This is just freestyle, half awake, because <laughs> I couldn't sleep. But, so that's what I'm doing. Today I'm going to try maybe doing another version of this or two. And um, I've been straightening up the area in the storage room where my all my uh, arts and crafts and sewing stuff is at. Um, because eventually I'm going eventually I'm gonna have things organized a whole lot better. Um, I may do something about the dining room table since it never gets used for anything except my artwork and stuff. And the cat has his food bowl up there. So I may take it down and just have uh, my easel and uh, a set of drawers or whatever for the, all the paints and supplies for the for my arts and crafts and um, still thinking on how to do this you know so I really want to get everything more organized and have a more professional uh, way of handling it since I'm actually going to be able to make dolls to sell now that was the biggest surprise this month and just I'm over the moon that I've got a doll that I'm going to sell. And um, Monday, uh, my check comes comes in tomorrow. Monday, I'm going down. I'm getting a post office box uh, for business purposes since I cannot trust mail coming to the house. Uh, getting to me, we've had several instances where the mail has got lost or um, the mailman delivered it to the wrong place, or else we had somebody steal the mail out of the mailbox. Had that happen a time or two and caught the guy at it uh, that did it. It was an old guy that lives around the corner from us. Um, he just literally had walked up on our porch and picked up the packages off the porch that the mailman had delivered because it was too big for the mailbox. And I just happened to come out with the dog as he was getting ready to go sneaking around. And the dog started barking at him and he came back. And we got that, you know, I got my stuff, my packages that he had. And uh, he uh, <clears throat> found out that, that I, do, I do keep a close watch on my mail and I've always... 
like when I know we've got a package coming out, I've got the front window open so I can see when the mailman comes. And I'm out checking the mailbox two or three times from, from about 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. I'll be checking every hour or so because we usually don't get mail any later than that. Um, but yeah. And so uh, that's, you know, kind of where it's at. I'm, I'm going to start working on uh, getting the paint colors for uh, Dragon Baby skin tones because it'll be slightly different from um, the Dragon Eye Baby because uh, Dragon Baby is af named after my nephew and he's half Chinese. So I need to alter the, the skin tones a bit. And they use a little of the leftover paint from when I did the Dragon Skin Baby, but I've got to alter the color of it so that it more matches an Asian skin tone. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do today sometime, start working with that and hopefully have uh, worked it out on the little Barbie Barbie doll size heads so that I know the skin color is right before I start working on that. And then um, the JC Sleeping Realborn kit that is the doll that is going to be sell, sold, I'm going to order it Monday. And uh, as soon as it gets here, from Bountiful Baby, then um, started working on that. It's going to take probably till September before they've got it paid off since they're doing this on layaway and they're uh, paying me $50 a month. So I can take my time with this one and uh, I don't have to start working on it right away and um, I'll have I'll have it uh, I'll start working on it after I do Little Jay's baby that I'm doing. And um, after after Dragon Baby is finished, then I get started on uh, Little Mark, the uh, baby for my, I'm calling it Little Mark because it's, uh, Mark is the one who wants the baby done, and um, get that one started. I'm going to be buying clothes and stuff for it over the next few months, and um, then get it ready, you know, to go. Since it's not, it doesn't have to be mailed right away. Uh, but that's that's kind of where that's at. It, somebody does want to do a payment plan with me, I won't mail it out until I've got the full payment for the doll. Uh, the reason for this is that when I was in Mary Kay, uh, when I worked for Mary Kay, they had this thing about uh, credit, that you would extend credit to people so, so that they would, you know, and, and they would pay you after they got the product. And I got burnt really bad by that one time and stopped because I got cheated out of like two, a couple hundred dollars worth of product one day and um, I never have extended credit on a sale since then. It's always been you pay me first and then I'll send the product out. and. Um, I did work doing catalog sales for a while and that was okay for about the first year and then all of a sudden I wasn't getting any sales and getting any new customers or anything so I ended up letting that one go. Uh, but I know that I can do this and I know that if even if I only sell like one or two dollars a year then that's good. You know, that's good. It's it's better than not making any money at all. 
I'm hoping to make money though enough that I can actually um, live off of it. So, uh, anyway, I'm blathering on again. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And um, when I get the proper logo done up to where it looks right, I'll show it and take a picture of it so that it can be put on my uh, my, U my YouTube logo. So, y'all have a good one. My email is in the description below. Oh, Patricia. 48 at gmail.com. My Patreon page is also below. And be watching for when I get my post office box. It will be in the description below. In the meantime, love you all. Have a really great day today. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.